I'm coming in, this is Debbie from Your Home, Your Happy Place, by the way, just coming in to tell you, this is a combo video. Uh, it was all filmed in the same day, but uh, obviously you can tell by the trees behind me that it was done about four weeks ago at least, before the trees started to turn. And um, the, it's a combo because it's a bit of the update on this house and the construction. And um, the then there's some fall decorating in it. So if you prefer not to watch part of it, I do have chapters below and, um, or you can just fast forward. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you at the end. Hi, it's Debbie. You're at your home or happy place and I am so happy to have you. If you're new, welcome. I hope that you wanna join me more and if you would hit that subscribe button, uh, I think there's a notify button too, if you don't wanna miss anything. I am an interior decorator and stager, realtor. I have other hats I wear. I really love just creative design and things, period. I mean, whatever. I'm, I'm not good at things that I'd like to be good at. Like I wanna paint and I don't mean the walls. I mean, I'd like, a can I'd like to paint canvas, but I just don't. Not that I have that gift. <laughs> and I'd like, I, well, I'm not going to go, okay, see, I do this all the time and I go chatting. I just had a 12-minute video that I'm probably going to delete because I went off chatting. Um, so maybe I'll save some of these up and, and just do, I hate Debbie, go, Debbie chats or whatever. Let me know what you think of that. I, no, you don't want to. Forget it. Anyway. To my new subscribers, thank you so very much. I went from, I don't know, like four four videos ago, I said I had 130. Y'all have doubled me and I'm so grateful. And now there's not one person who is commenting. I'm getting several people and I can't tell you how much it means to me. I mean, yesterday evening, I was watching a movie with my husband and. I don't know, I was trying to just do some stuff, probably creating things. Anyway, I got a notification that I got a comment and he read it and it just caused me to tear up. And you know, somebody's sharing their personal um, story and how um, the video that they watched, uh, you know, put a smile on their face and it just, it made me, I mean, I was heartbroken for them, but at the same time they were also, um, you know, encouraging me and made me feel happy that this isn't just for me it's not I mean I really do believe that your home should be your happy place I really do believe that God create I mean he's a creator he created the beautiful world we live in he created us and so he puts that creativity in us and so when we share that with other people it encourages them not to live such a bland life if that's you know, some, sometimes people just think I shouldn't be happy. I shouldn't have something nice, you know? Yeah, they, okay, somebody's home. I gotta stop. Alrighty. It's worrisome when you see low spots the very first day, because there's some puddles over here, but, um, here we go. It scares me. I mean, we, I know concrete's gonna crack. I'll tell you though, when we can afford it, if we can, I wanna put, have uh, someone do, they, I don't know, they have some kind of concrete cover. It, it has to be like some kind of coating and they kind of paint it. So, Oh, look, there's the drain. My husband was worried they covered up the shower drain. So there's gonna be a little outdoor shower here and a little outdoor sink. Why, I mean, are people actually gonna do that for the, um, for the um, pool? That's really not why. We did it because of just being outside. I mean, on seven acres, you know, when you're filthy, dirty, and it happens sometimes. My husband will come and I'm like, you can go out in the garage and change your clothes. <laughs> so I think they're going to have to come in here and add some more rock. 
because that doesn't look like a finished edge, does it? But the hot tub's gonna be here. And that is coming at the end of the month. Very excited about it. Um, let's see out here. So today I'm hoping, um, there's our old furniture. I'm hoping that my husband and I will just kind of put it out here because this is great. I mean, just even sitting up here, the view, wow, it's so pretty. They're supposed to come uh, next week, but you know, I could say these things and nothing happens, but they're supposed to come next week and plaster the pool. And I've never done a gunite pool. We had a vinyl lined pool, so um, it was built in, but it was like a sandy feel to it. Um, but they told us, everybody's told us that out here you should build gunite. Um, and I know it costs more, but then again, people don't realize you have to replace those uh, vinyl ones. They, um, they tear and leak. They can be patched sometimes, but by seven years, you got to replace them. And back when we were doing it, that was $7,000 just for that. So, okay. Well, I just wanted you to see it. Somebody said it's a lot of uh, concrete, and it is. Um, and we were going to put some planting areas in here. I guess everybody forgot about that. You know, we when things take so long, you just totally forget. You do. Um, we were going to have some, like, flower beds in here and stuff. But what we'll do instead is we'll put planters in here. My husband just got home. I can hear his footsteps overhead. Anyway, um, let's go outside. I think that's what I was starting with. But thank you again if you have been commenting or you're a subscriber. I really do appreciate it. Let's go see what the side or the patio looks like. Oh, you guys, I passed out. <clears throat> I woke up at two o'clock last night and I never fell back to sleep until this afternoon. So, there we go. I mean, maybe it's kind of outdated, I don't know. It's been in storage for, golly, I guess almost six years. Those umbrellas are from Pier One. Looks like one of them is broken. And there's another table we've slid underneath we have three tables. Oh, and then we're missing the two umbrellas there. But anyway, that's what's coming down to. You know, it doesn't look as big once you start putting the furniture out. It literally, I feel like it's almost exactly the same size as our other house was. This is so funny. You know, it didn't, I'm gonna turn you around. Okay, this is me just waking up from a nap. I just took off my jewelry. Um, we, uh, we didn't realize till we were all the way into building this house that basically, I mean, it's a bigger house than we lived in for 30 years. It's true. And we had a huge deck. It just wasn't this huge, but for most, you know, under most circumstances, it was a huge deck, but it's actually the same layout on the main floor. Um, we had our family room here. It's not, I mean, it's, even standing at the back of the house, it's not even flipped. Our family room, uh, then that one had a, a game room sort of in it. So it was a bigger family room, but this one's about the same size. Just no. Oh, my daughter's calling me. I can't do a take two. I just thought I was recording and of course I wasn't. It was on photo and it wasn't, you know, nobody's over there taking pictures either. So, 
Um, I was just showing that I had this, um, these two wreaths sitting out here. Golly, they make a mess. For the last month, um, waiting for me to put them together. And I just picked up the cable ties. You can use these. And I just I fed two of them through. And that's all I needed to cook mine. And, you know, it was nice. I may have shown it on another video. But basically, this is a, um, I think that would be considered a eucalyptus um, wreath behind it that I got at Hobby Lobby and then the one in the front was from Home Goods and alone it just wasn't enough uh, the the pumpkin one was not enough for me for um, the holiday so now I'm gonna pop a command hook up there and see if it sticks I don't really know what it's gonna do on lacquer paint I've never this is my first experience with a lot of things here and my first hood and I'm so excited to hang it I can't wait Sleep. Partly is I don't eat carbs and I was so hungry and you know sometimes most of the time I'm fine. I mean what is this October? I started eating zero carb in July and I was I'm, I haven't been having a problem but the past couple of days I've I've just been super hungry and not wanting what I had in the fridge. So um, we had purchased some. Um, uh, purchased some uh, beer battered cod, which I love. And the carbs weren't horrible, but anyway, there were carbs in it. So I had that for lunch, I had four pieces. And then um, I fell asleep. Now, it wasn't just a carb thing because I woke up at two o'clock last night and I couldn't get back to sleep. So I'd been awake all day. So it was probably, maybe it was three, I hope so, because I woke up at 4.30. And so I've got that um, wreath hung and I'm working on the basket up there. Here we go, I had to get a bigger ladder. And I pulled the blanket out of 
the picnic basket just as my husband comes in and he goes, oh, I found you another picnic basket. I think I've got about three, but none of them are as awesome as that. But I might take the other one that he brought me and put it in there too, because you know, it's kind of the, the idea. So I pulled out the blanket that was in there because it's not very, I mean, it's perfect for throwing on the grass, um, but it was a blue and cream plaid which didn't say fall to me. So I remembered I had, I don't know why I bought this one, but I bought one lone throw in green. It's not my favorite, but then again, the wreath is green and I don't want to draw tons of attention. So I'm going to try this up there. I might, um, next time I'm at TJ Maxx, I might just pick up something small that has just a hint of fall in it. So my husband didn't have just one, but he had two more uh, picnic baskets. I don't know if I want to put another one up there, but there's room at the moment. I think I'm going to put um, some pumpkins, but I would have liked to have had two bottles of wine. I put um, the Coppola, which is one of our favorite Cabernets, um, up there. And then, is that what it is? I <laughs> see, I'm so bad. It's a Sauvignon. Um, I don't know. I have to look. I know it's red. But anyway, um, oh, sorry. I can't really get a good close-up. So I had a, let me take you up there. Maybe that's what I need to do. So I had one of these hanging, you know, the bows at the top and then the, the floral uh, arrangement hangs down. And I thought that would be really cute propped up here so it would give it some depth and it is, um, even though I didn't buy them at the same time or anything, it's very much like the one on the hood. So anyway, and I washed these glasses because they were still wrapped in plastic and they were gonna be exposed. I just wanted a little something so people really understood that it was a picnic basket. So, let me get down. Okay. I don't usually videotape while I'm processing because it's gonna be a lot of stopping and starting because I have to go hunt for things, but I'm doing it this time just for grins. Okay, so I had told you guys I had just plopped those pumpkins. Yes, my kitchen's dirty. <laughs> plopped those pumpkins there and I was gonna leave them and I do love them there, but I had always intended for them to go up in the spot that I'm working in right now. So I'll show you if I can turn this around. Well, maybe before I do it, I'll tell you what's going on. So I took three of them and put them up there right now. And they're all the same height. And down here, that was fine. But up there, it's not. And I'm like, what am I going to put them on? So I found this just now in the garage. Well, obviously, it's this little chicken wire bowl and I'm just gonna flip it upside down and put the pumpkin on I think because it's see-through it'll probably be pretty a pretty good thing but just in case that doesn't work out this was also laying in the garage <laughs> just a random piece of uh, burlap ribbon I guess so uh, if I have to I can you know wrap it and it'll just look like some kind of container but I'm hoping I can just leave it like this because I like that. And then I gotta find something for the other side. If I had a faux mom, I would put that over there maybe, or I don't have much in the way of faux. Um, you know, that's good enough for that. I mean, I have some faux, but it's like either really fancy or bigger. Um, and I do have one little pumpkin left which I think is gonna go maybe in the middle or something. So I still need something on the other side. So I'll show it to you real quick, where we're at anyway. Okay, so there it is. Um, so I've got, a, the one that I'm gonna lift up there is the lacy one. And I doubt that it shows up on camera, but um, it's the middle one and it's like, it looks covered in lace, although it's like a hand I mean, it's not real lace, it's just beautiful. And it also sparkles, like it's got some glitter on it, as does the uh, one that's leaned towards me here in the front um, that's kind of greenish blue. So, I do like this. This is kind of what I had in mind when, um, I think they were 
when they first drew up the plans, because I designed the kitchen myself, um, they had these little windows going straight across here. And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. And over here, they had them all the way across, all the way across. And I'm like, that's too much. It looks, I said, it looks like a little, it looks like a jail. So I um, had some valances cut out for over the windows because um, that was just plain and it looked really, to me, it looked terrible. And so even if I never put a curtain up there or shade, um, I think that looks pretty, but I still have the option of doing that. And um, it just needed that pause, that break. And this was, this excited me because in my kitchen for the first time ever, I have zero wall space. I can't hang all the cute little things that I usually hang. So I have to make the most of, of it in another way. So this is gonna be fun because I never had little cubbies to decorate or, you know, all of these, these never show up good on, uh, on camera. They always look darker than they are. But anyway, um, okay, let's see what goes on. Okay, you guys, it's a full on vignette. The little riser, the basket riser worked out so perfectly that you can't even see it. And I went ahead and put that candle up there. Um, so it fills up the negative space. I'm gonna go up. my friend wanted to take a picture of it to show it to me it's like of course everybody knows <laughs> you know their own stuff and it's little short hairs that grow here and um, they're not broken they're baby hairs but I guess they don't ever hardly get long so anyway I know I bought some battery operated candles at Hobby Lobby a week or two ago. <laughs> and that's what I need up there instead of the one, I mean, the color's great on it, right? But I'll never light it in there. And that one will add some ambiance to the space. So um, I also have a little something I could add up there on the bottom. I kind of would like a little, I don't, I don't think I have any garland that looks like that. Well, I do, it's over there. But um, I did pick these up and they're just little rings. Um, they're pretty festive and I started to put them on top of some of my candlesticks and put the candles down in them. And um, they were a little much for this time of the year. And I thought, oh, at Christmas, they'll look great. But if I just toss, I only have two. If I just toss them up in the corner over there in that negative space spot where that candle is, it might just be the thing that kind of fills it up. I mean, I wish I had more of the lamb's ear type stuff and maybe I'll find some if I go to the store. You know, it's not my intention to be spending a lot of money though. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, all right, I have no idea what I'm doing in the rest of these. It's gonna be kind of what shows up. If I've got some stuff that looks like it kind of goes fall. Oh, but I didn't show you my other, um, my other picnic basket is, uh, it's small and it's got a flat back and it's a half round. So it's very, it's a little bit similar to the one I took out that was the Lily Pulitzer, but it's all rattan, there's no color on it. And I was thinking about where I was putting it and then I thought, oh, I'll just hang it because it's got a shoulder strap. I'll hang it in my laundry room. And then I thought, you know, as long as I'm hanging it, I might as well get some flowers to go in it or some greens or 
some falls. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I don't have anything, but if I do, I mean, I do have some orange stuff over there by the elevator that's sitting, I'm gonna play. So I'm gonna play, that's what we do. That's part of why it's your home, your happy place, because if you like decorating, I mean, it is kind of like playtime. I, I feel like I'm, um, you know, I'm in, in the classroom and there's an assignment, but I had this teacher in third grade and everything she assigned us was fun, even math. I don't know how she did it. Um, and we got lots of recess and uh, prizes and things when we completed. And we had to work as teams, which was also fun. I mean, third grade, this kid, she was amazing. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm off track again. I'm just saying, for me, this is play. No stress. Um, when I did it for other people, um, there was a little bit more stress because, especially it depends. If you've got a good rapport with your client, yeah. Um, but I, I, did, I did have some bad experiences. Okay, so I picked up one of these little I don't really know what you call them, but they're little bitty rings. And actually the ring is, a, well, I can show you. Let me go get it. So this is the little ring, um, $5.99 at Hobby Lobby. So it was $3. And then those little guys were curled around it. But if you see, this didn't work. So I, they're just, they were literally just curled around it. I didn't even have to cut. I unwound them and I just threw them in my little tray that I picked up at um, a bowl. I don't know what you call it, but I got it at um, Home Goods or TJ Maxx, I'm not sure which, as well as the salt and pepper shaker. And I'm just adding pops of orange in my um, kitchen. Very, very little. So, and I'm working right now on just my foyer. Oh, but I thought I'd show you this since it's kind of, you know, something I picked up. I was in um, Target. I, as I said, I don't shop there very often, but I went in um, and found those placemats and I saw this and I thought, you know, um, I love the colors. Of course, see, they, they really go with what I have and it's a round tablecloth and we have this round table in our foyer. And so if I happen to do a party and I'm gonna put out some, uh, a drink station, that would be, you know, like say you're doing apple cider, mulled apple cider or something, that would be a perfect spot for it. Or the hors d'oeuvres could be there. Um, I'm gonna want my table covered instead of a, uh, the bare wood. So anyway, I'm gonna unwrap it and look at it, but I'm trying to come up with something for that table right now. I'm just doing little vignettes at the moment and um, trying to figure things out, so. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I'm so appreciative of everything, whether you're watching me, sharing me, liking, and commenting. I just am very appreciative. And um, I have some more fall content coming, and I'll be starting to film some of my Christmas soon. I don't know. You know, I haven't even unboxed anything, but I did order some stuff and buy some stuff. I don't know if I'll do a haul or not because I don't know. I'm not buying, I'm like buying large amounts of garland and I bought a new tree, so it's not really a haul. So um, I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as all that goes, but that's gonna start in November, which is just about a week away, if that. And um, I just wanted to encourage you, if you have not subscribed, would you please? And if you really do like it, would you press the like button? Talk to me in the comments and share it on your uh, social media. And I'll see you in our next video. Bye.